Hi, I'm Sid with Sixth Face Comics, coming at you through the fourth wall. Back to another episode of What's in the Box. Only a few smaller things today. Um, eBay, right? This is uh, how this guy sent me this. And then, yeah, you see how it's... Anyway, I told him I was doing video, and I was going to open it, and that if it was damaged uh, in any way that wasn't readily apparent in the description or in the uh, images he sent me that I would be ha shipping it back to him that he'd be paying it for it to be shipped return shipped as damaged and in his infinite wisdom I guess he just decided to go ahead and refund him my money on the spot so he didn't have to deal with that so <sighs> looks like it was bent I don't know maybe survive all he had to do was bloody wait that's all I told him okay yeah so this is a low grade Marvel team up number 15 that's the first Spider-Man and Ghost Rider team up <coughs> and it has a giant tear and a, there's a price sticker on the back and a giant tear and it's still in good condition tear through a couple pages through a couple pages even the guy had it up for a lot of money on eBay, and I just sent him a really low offer and told him, like, look, you know, this is the condition of your book, and this is what it's worth. And he accepted the offer, waited a week and a half to the end of when he could to ship it, and shipped it like that. So, no remorse for him giving me the money back. He could have waited. I probably would have just yelled at him and gave him bad feedback, but he wouldn't have had to, you know, refund me my money or return shipping because it is as described. But I don't ship like that. I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm not, when I see it, I'm going to tell people. Pretty cool, though. Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. So that's Johnny Blaze Spider-Man meets Ghost Rider. I'm not sure where Danny Ketch is at. I've been putting Danny Ketch's run together. I don't buy a lot of that stuff online because, you know, the cheap stuff I just hop shop, shop hop and pick up. All right. Here, I know this is a much nicer copy of this. And look at that. Gemini, blue tape. Knows what they're doing for sure. Oh, he even knows the tape. So here's something that I do. Um, I don't see a lot of people doing. So when you tape, you tape here and here and wrap around your book. And then your book is not gonna is going to slide with this interior piece, which is kind of a buffer, right? just an extra little precaution because just taping it down the sides or the top here is not a hundred percent but this is how you package and ship comic books ladies and gentlemen I should definitely send a, I'm gonna send a thank you to this person on eBay and I'll probably send them a link to the video and give them some credit you'll see the name here because I'm not sure which eBay seller this is at the moment, but I'll put that information down here. Yeah. Let's get this bad boy off of here, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty copy. When I say pretty, I think it's a very fine minus, as I believe what he labeled it as. It might be very fine, very fine plus. It's a little discoloration. So, there she is, Marvel Team Up 15, Spider-Man and Johnny Blaze meet. Yeah, very fine minus, I'd say, maybe even less, because there's some staining right here. I think that'd eat it a lot. 
it may or may not be able to be cleaned up a bit when somebody were to press and clean it. Yeah, so that's a good one. I'm happy I got that one. The other one, well, it is what it is. And here is the big book of the day. This I've been waiting for for months and months and months and months. And months. For it to show up on eBay. Two showed up back rapid succession. One of them had a detached back cover and sold for $125. And this one that I purchased. Yeah. This one that I purchased, I got for $270 shipped. So this is a golden age, one of my first golden age investments. I have bought a lot of golden age stuff. Not a big fan of golden age. Um, I know, you know, your Batman and stuff like that. It just, that stuff was always out of reach for me when I was a kid. It's just gotten more expensive. I mean, I have the money to spend for it now, but, uh, you know. But this, this is something entirely different. This is something that's like flying under the radar. Um, TiVo over at Lords of the Longbox mentioned it on his show a couple times. I don't think he ever pulled it up. He might have pulled up an image of it. It's got some damage. It looks like there was a, something dropped on it right there. Maybe a little hole. It's in good condition. It's chewed up a little bit. Attached. It might be better than that because it's golden age. This is suspense number seven. And this golden age comic is from Atlas Comics and it has Dracula Lives. So this is actually the first appearance of Dracula in Marvel in the Marvel Universe in Atlas in the Golden Age. It's not the Dracula from Tomb of Dracula, obviously. But this is the original Dracula story. You can see there's some damage right there, but it is intact. And I think I need to count pages. So it's a 52 issue, 52, 25, 26 pages. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you'll see it's only got the one staple in the book. So twelve, twelve is twenty four, right? I think it's missing its centerfold. Fifty-two big pages. So I'm assuming the big pages include the exterior page. Twenty-four to twenty-five. I should have had twenty-six though. Twelve, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yep, it's complete. 13, double double sided, so it's 13 sheets folded over and then printed on both sides, so 
That is a complete copy. So I think I did uh, pretty good, guys. Let me know what you think. Dracula, number one. First appearance in uh, Marvel Universe. Uh, this will be my Instagram post on Halloween next week. So, all right, guys. We have a good day. Hey, keep leaving me here. I deserve my chance to shine. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Like this video, hit the subscription button, and turn on notifications. Now to get out of here.